Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the new formation editor in the new command 1243.5. Now it's worth noting that this is a pretty useful tool, it can be used for all units. I, I can do this with houses, I can do this with airplanes, I can do this with ground units, I can do this with ship. It does not make that big a difference. So the key thing is I just kind of playing with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my group of F-16s, I'll pause everybody, and press the level of the G key to go ahead and um, put them in a group. Click on one of them and I'll go up to the formation editor. Alternatively, you can hit the F4 key if you want. Now before you start messing with the formation editor, the new one, a couple things you want to keep an eye out for is make sure the lead unit is the lead unit that you want to have as the lead unit. So for example, if I'm going to grab this one and make him the lead unit, I'm going to click him, go set group lead just like that. So how does this work? It's pretty simple. All you're going to do is you're going to come up here, select the formation you want to be in. For example, let's do a wedge. Uh, you set the spacing. In this case, uh, let's say I want them to be one nautical mile apart. And then you set the default heading. Let's say they're heading north. And then click on the assign key. Now, as soon as I do that, you're like, well, that's not very exciting. Well, it isn't very exciting because I'm still inside the formation editor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and order these guys to come up here like this. Now, if I want to be a little more aggressive with them, I could do one of those with the move key. Again, keep in mind I'm in the scenario editor. And you can see they immediately associate themselves into the correct formation. So let's bring up the formation editor again. Now, you can do like a whole air show here. You know, you can come in here and say, all right, form echelon right. So as soon as you do that, of course, they're going to immediately not do anything because you have to remember when you do that, you have to tell them to actually get into that particular position. So if we click on the assign key, what they're going to do now is they're all going to start breaking up. Like I said, this is my little formation air show here. And you can see them starting to form into that new position right away. Now, if you're in the scenario editor, you have an added bonus, which is really, really cool. And that's the ability to actually immediately place them into a formation. So if I actually come over here and click place, boing, it'll set everybody into the correct shape immediately. So, you know, if it's like diamond and I click on place, boing, they instantly, <laughs> that's a funky looking pattern, jump into the correct formation that I want to use. Uh, one thing you want to watch out for is with your spacing, it's in meters or nautical miles. So if you're really, really silly, you're going to come in here like this and do something like this because you didn't, weren't paying attention to what you were doing. And you're like, where did everybody, oh, everybody's down there now. <laughs> Be careful with these because um, when you break these formations into these mega spheres like this, you have issues as far as uh, command and control. But one of the neat advantages here, and it's probably for another day, is you can create massively long lines of fighters and you can do silly things like this where you grab the lead fighter and you order them to go ahead and turn on their radars for the entire group there. I uh, notice we can't do that that because we're obeying MCON. I don't want you to obey MCON. I don't want you to just turn your radar on, man. Turn it on. So now we have an extremely long line of uh, radar uh, coverage here. So it actually is kind of a neat little trick that you can now use. Because now if I order the formation to go this way, everybody turns just like they would with a ship and starts pointing in the new direction. Now, another thing we want to talk about with the formation editor is if somebody is removed from the formation, it will break your formation. So let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to press F4. I'm going to go ahead and I'll fix my spacing, which is ridiculous. I'll place them into a little line like this. Now, let's say this guy right here decides to drop out of the formation. Goodbye. Go home. Go get some you know, nice hot tea or something like that. Takes out, take some relaxing nap. So now notice this hole is not filled in. Uh, that's just, you know, not, I don't know if you want to call it a limitation or you want to call it a feature. It doesn't matter. It's not filled in. So what we would actually have to do is go back to the formation if we went to fix that and we'd have to go ahead and reassign them. Uh, when you reassign them, of course, you give it a little bit of time and boing, everybody should be back in the new correct shape after having filled up that gap. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're saying, well, it's pretty neat that we have all those formations in there, but what if you want to make your own? Turns out you can make your own if that's something that you're desiring to do. Inside the Command Modern Operations folder, oh, you can see a Steam Library and all that other good stuff, you can see that if you go to the Resources folder and you go to Formation, there's actually this little document here, and I'm going to go ahead and grab it for you. It looks a little bit like this. Uh, this gives you the ability to actually edit the formations that you're working on. But basically, um, you can follow the instructions here. Uh, some of these are pretty weird to work with. Uh, this will tell you how many formations we have. This is the name of the formation. Uh, this is going to give you a general idea of what formation type that you're going to be dealing with here. And then you're going to be defining the different number of entries in it. And then the last field that you're going to have there are going to be things that are going to tell you um, exactly what you're going to do with it. Each one of these entries is pretty straightforward. Again, I've got two entries passed here. The first one's going to be 90 degrees. The next one's going to be 270 degrees off my right. And then down here, it's going to describe the formation types, which is going to kind of explain how the different formations are formed. So like, you know, your four-sided formations, you're going to have your relative to proceeding. And you can see, you can actually get very, 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 very sophisticated with these particular formations. You know, our little diamond pattern, you got one at 135 degrees, another 225 degrees, another 225, but he's on the opposite side, another one 135, but he's the opposite side and back into the right. So you can have a lot of fun with these. And this is definitely something I will have to sit down and probably make an application for like in Python or something, because it would make this whole process of generating these a lot easier. So hopefully this video is helpful and encourages you to play with these formations. There's definitely some tactics involved with formations and it's things I'm going to kind of play with later on and see if I can uh, come up with a good video for that one. But other than that, enjoy.